Hey, what is up everybody? Everything Gundam back with another review and I am officially back. Um, I know it's been a almost four months now since I, you know, took my little hiatus. Um, I'm still working on some things in the review space, so it's a little it's not finished, but it'll do. Um, I'm still not finished like decorating and whatnot um there's still some things that i need to get but you know as time goes on you'll see the little changes and, and improvements um but yeah i'll probably do a a room tour here soon um but yeah um but i remember i left off at the mandalorian model kit still have it it hasn't gone anywhere so I just wanted to finish this review um, I do have some things coming in like the real grade God Gundam I think that'll be the next like first official welcome back video that I'm gonna be doing um, but yeah so let's get into this Mandalorian model kit um, this is the version of the Mandalorian this was just the normal version I got I did paint it silver because it comes in this molded silver plastic, except for this piece right here. I think that was like, um, I think that was like a brown color, or maybe that's a sticker that you put over that. I, I really don't remember. It's been, geez, it's been a while. Um, I did do a little bit of detail painting on this. Let me get him off the stand here and bring him closer. Um, I know I need to work on the lighting in here. It is dark. Um, the belt, I did some on the belt. I know the fingers don't come like that. They normally just come black. I did do that. And I can't remember really can't remember all what I did, but yes. Um, as far as accessories come, you get his blaster. You get the sniper that he was sniping Jawas with. You do get the Beskar staff. You get the dark saber, and for hands, what you get with this kit is you get a rifle supporting hand, a trigger finger hand for the gun, a trigger finger hand for the rifle, and one sword holding hand for the dark saber and the best car staff. Which, if I remember correctly. The best car staff, it's like a floppy mess, so you need to use the like rifle support hand to do like a two-handed pose type dealy. Um so yeah. Um articulation on this guy, his head will go up that far, down that far. It'll go side to side, full 360. The arm will go out that far, and about up that far, full 360 because it's on a ball joint, double jointed, there's decapitation, you get a slight bit of an ab crunch. His legs will go out that far. Legs will go out that far. It's really bad. Um, you do not get a... That's what you get for an event. I don't remember this kit being this bad. I'm sorry, but...
and I don't remember how that get back together, so I'm not messing with it. Um, you get a slight ankle pivot. And, yeah, I didn't realize that some of these, like, finger kits were, like, he looks nice. Like, don't get me wrong, it looks nice. And I really want the Boba Fett. But articulation is not in his game. He's, he's meant to just look cool. And, you know what, that's what he does best, is look cool. So that's it about it for articulation. Um, all in all, it's got some really nice details. Like he's got like the the horned creature that him and Grogu took down. If my camera will focus, there it is. It's got that imprinted on the shoulder. His gauntlet with the whistling birds. I think that's where, like, he took a shot somewhere. Like, that was the first version of armor that he had. I mean, in the looks department, it looks great. Articulation department, it's kind of ass. But, yeah, I'll throw it up in a little pose montage here. And, yeah, that'll I'll do it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.